While building this foldable desk, I learned a little about building and a lot about life. When people inquire about my woodworking skills, and I'm using the word skills very loosely, I tell them it's pretty simple really. I just measure, cut, and glue. Of course, within those three steps, there's more to it than that, but when you break it down to its core, I mostly just measure, cut, and glue. Then I started thinking, which is dangerous I know, everything I do in my life can be broken down into two or three simple steps. When I strength train, I lift the weight up and down. Content creation, create, and post. Baseball, hit, throw, and catch. Being a Sacramento Kings fan, step one, spend 17 years in misery. Step two, try and learn to be happy again. It's about the process of what you're doing, not the outcome. If you stick to the basic steps, the outcome will be positive more often than not. My JV basketball coach used to say, practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. You can't just do things wrong or half-hearted daily and expect a good outcome. Complete your steps with focus and intention. I just started getting into cornhole and playing in tournaments. What will come of it? I have no idea but I've been practicing every day and having fun, so we'll see. Now, sometimes things don't go as planned, so you need to stomp a little bit, and that's okay. With this build, I stuck to the basic steps and it turned out pretty good. I made a desk that looks pretty nice and doesn't explode when I use it. When I stick to the process and complete the steps in my life on a regular basis, usually good things happen. When I started woodworking and creating content, I had no idea what the outcome would be. I just measured, cut, and glued. What happened? I became more fulfilled with this new hobby. I met an amazing community of makers on the internets. I created a new revenue stream on social media and selling my building plans online. And I get to wince every time someone refers to me as an influencer. I built this desk for a very practical purpose, for storage and to have another work service in my shop. But I realized that if I follow the basic steps in my life as I did with this build, I can have a pretty incredible life. When I overcomplicate things, I get into trouble. Woodworkers have a tendency to do that. A project that should take a week to build turns into a two-month marathon because the joinery and leg design needs to be above and beyond what is necessary. I stopped doing commission work because I kept overcomplicating things and the furniture took way too long to build. Keep it simple, follow the steps, and practice them daily if you can. I get a lot more done in my shop when I'm out there every day, even if it's just for 30 minutes, than I do when I'm only out there once or twice a week. Enjoy the process and the outcome will be good and sometimes even great. My favorite parts about this build are the little things. I created these holders for my ear protection, eye protection, and dust mask. I love being practical and coming up with solutions to problems, and I always misplace my PPE, personal protective equipment. What helps me come up with different solutions? I have a little notebook that I jot down ideas and sketch projects daily. Most of the time, nothing comes of it, but sometimes I connect the dots in just the right way and I turn an idea into a reality. I follow the basic steps of taking a few minutes out of my day to think about what to create next, and then write or sketch in my notebook. Trust the process, be consistent, and it's as simple as measure, cut, glue.